Hi guys, it's Laura. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Jack and I found out that one of the stores in Vienna is finally selling the Beyond Meat Burger. So today we drove out and we got our first Beyond Burgers. We got this box with 10 patties. That's the only version they're selling. So I don't know if you can buy smaller packages in other countries, but that's all they had. So it's 10 patties, we paid in euros 24.90 and we are going to have them for dinner and I thought it would be fun if we would film a short video and tell you how we like them and all about our first impressions. So if that's something you're interested in, then please keep watching. Here is what the box looks like. So it says right here, soy free, gluten free and vegan. It contains 10 patties. There are a few words. Uh, from the founder so it says at beyond meat our mission is to offer plant-based products that allow you and your family to eat more not less of the dishes you love together we can truly bring change to the planet and beyond so when i check the ingredients it says that um, the protein is pea protein and when you open it there is this green bag with the patties inside and i also already checked how to cook them here are the instructions, so you should um, defrost them first and then you're supposed to cook them three minutes on each side, which is super easy. I took two of the patties out and I will have them defrost because I have to go back to the office, but by the time I'll be back and we will be ready for dinner, they should be already thawed. They look a lot like meat and they already smell wonderful, so I'm just so excited to try these. All right, I came back from the office and I have seen that the patties are sufficiently defrosted. They actually feel quite soft and they look very much like minced meat. Here they are, so you can see pretty soft. And as I said, they look really a lot like meat. From what I have understood, the color comes from a red beet. They smell really wonderful. There is smoked aroma in them, that's what I smell also a lot. We are not gonna eat the patties in a burger bun, like a regular burger. We do love burgers and we enjoy the classical burgers in a burger bun with all the other things that come with it in a diner, but at home we actually prefer having something else as a side dish. And Jack and I both love mashed potatoes. I usually make mashed potatoes with two parts of regular potatoes and one part of mashed potatoes but I don't have any regular potatoes at home right now so it's gonna be just sweet mashed potatoes with just a little bit of cashew drink and I will add a little bit of garlic and that's how we are going to eat our first Beyond Burgers. Here I am cooking the purple sweet potatoes with a little bit of garlic and pinch of salt. This is how I prepared the plates. So first I sprinkled on both plates a bit of Syrian pumpkin seeds. Then I added a bit of lamb's lettuce with a few pieces of tomatoes. I poured just a little bit of balsamic vinegar on the veggies and then I again sprinkled the pumpkin seeds on the top. And now let's do it. So I have here this small pan it is actually a non-sticky pan, but it is a pretty old one and it's not so non-sticky anymore. So I put in just a little bit of vegetable oil, but only really a little amount. But I guess if your pan were in a better shape, you would not need oil at all. very first impression they already smell amazing i still have a little bit over two minutes left to cook them from this side but the scent is already mouth watering so that's been three minutes from this side i hope i'll be able to turn them well perfect as i said the pan is not the newest but it worked well so far and i have a timer here for three minutes because it says on the packaging that you're not supposed to overcook them so I thought to be sure let's stop the time so that I'll know it's gonna be exactly three minutes from each side I can tell there is a little bit of kind of a juice coming out and it looks to me that they uh, started to quote-unquote bleed because you can see here there's a little bit of 
red pigment coming out so again it looks a lot like meat so that's the alarm i'm turning the heat off and i'm gonna serve them now this is how i serve them but we want to try one thing supposedly when you cut them they are supposed to have the medium rare look so let's try that so that's how the inside looks like and it really looks like medium i wouldn't say medium rare i would say medium well and this is gonna be definitely my favorite part of this video because now i finally get to try them so dig in mm. wow they're really good the consistency definitely very meaty really good like so far all the vegan steaks and vegan burgers we had there is one that's very close or very kind of authentic and that's the garden uh, gourmet burger that we sometimes buy but this is even closer so if if i didn't know that this burger was plant-based i would not notice any difference i can't say so much about the taste because we've been vegan for three years now but the consistency this is how i remember like minced meat right yeah wow i would say i would say can i compare this to the impossible burger of course you can i don't care he had already the impossible burger in the states i yeah. don't um i think the taste is as i yes, think the taste have. is as good or better than the impossible burger the consistency of the impossible burger is more hamburger like than this it's it looks the impossible the impossible burger looks just like a ground beef patty mm -hmm. that you made by hand. Okay. It, it it actually looks better than than like what you what i remember i mean i haven't eaten mcdonald's even long before i turned vegan but you know the this this looks pressed and mm -hmm. uh mcdonald's or burger king uh commercial hamburger they look perfect the impossible burger looked like you know your dad you mean like made with looked food? like your dad crushed it together your mom crushed the meat together and put it on the grill so it doesn't look like it was pre-made yeah. in some yeah. factory Correct. it looks like made by hand yeah. so that's the difference but yeah. taste wise you... taste wise i it's been three months four months since i had it now five months mm -hmm. so yeah. it's tough it's future lara I wanted to say a few things since we mentioned that Jack had the Impossible Burger during one of his last travels to the States. So back then, it's been a while, we did not have the information that the Impossible Burger has been tested on rats before they started selling them. And we feel like it's been absolutely unnecessary. They shouldn't have tested their burgers on animals and they should have found another way However, we are not going to boycott the company because we are trying to see the bigger picture there. And it's sad and it's horrible and it should never be the case. But it is true that we read and hear so much about people who are not vegan loving their burgers and eating them very often. And supposedly they really look a lot like meat and they supposedly taste a lot like meat. So honestly, we would rather have people eating the impossible burger than eating a beef burger, which means killing a cow. Obviously, having learned all these things about the testing on rats, we do not plan on introducing the impossible burger as a part of our diet. But I want to try it once. I want to be able to tell you guys how it tastes and what the consistency is, and that is it. And also, should I ever be in an extreme situation where I would spend a little bit longer period of time somewhere with extremely limited vegan options, and basically the only options would be like fries or salad, then and they would have the impossible burger, then I admit I would probably eat it a couple of times. But that's a situation I haven't been in so far, so I don't think it will happen. But this is these are my thoughts, and even though I'm risking some people thinking, oh my god, you're gonna have once or twice in life the impossible burger, so you're not vegan or you're bad vegan, well, I'd rather risk that than not being open and transparent and honest because i feel like that's very important so these are our thoughts so again we think it's horrible that they have been tested on the other hand we feel like it's still better when people eat the impossible burger than when they would choose animal based products and now let's go on with this video oh my god this is really 
really good. Mm -hmm. And I personally love the idea that the packaging has already 10 patties in it. So I think next time we go to Metro, I am totally prepared to get at least two or three boxes for the freezer because we have a really big freezer and we don't use it that much. I mean, there's some veggies and uh, garlic and some leftovers and stuff like that. But that's a great thing because then we always have enough patties and we don't have to worry about that. And I think it's also great when we'll get visit, let's say from my parents or from someone who is not vegan, then we can spontaneously cook um, stuff for them. And We're gonna give someone else our Patties? Yes, we're gonna share. We want the words to go vegan. Okay. It'll be fine, fine. baby. <laughs> Jack worried. How about if we? How about if you split yours with them? <laughs> so typical. But anyway, I am impressed. Hmm. I think it really tastes great. Me too. Highly recommend it. I also think that the price is all right because yeah. we pay something around 350 for the vegan steaks that we like eating so that would be like what like 175 or am i cut wait 350 for the package for the package yes yeah, so 175, 175 per one vegan steak and this was almost 25 euros for 10 so it's like 250 for a piece that's not bad if you would buy meat it would be more expensive yeah. if it were like beef and this is plant-based no animal cruelty, less water involved, it's better for the environment, way better for your health. But that being said, it has about 7 grams saturated fat in 100 grams. So I would not necessarily say that this is healthy dinner. This is something you can definitely eat, but I would not eat this every day, yeah. um, believing that I'm doing the best for my body. But it's still great. I mean, yeah, there's no downside. It's like a hamburger when you're when you're non-vegan mm -hmm. and you eat a burger, it's like, well, yeah, you also know that's fast food. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as far as good food, no one looks at a burger and says, yeah, I'm going to go get a nutritious meal. Exactly. Tonight. Yeah. So this is the same kind of thing. It's just, this is more healthy than mm -hmm. eating a, an animal based burger. And I'm absolutely looking forward um, to the moment when my parents are going to be here again, because whenever my parents are here, I cook, obviously just plant-based food so they eat plant-based and so far they loved everything and i'm so sure that my dad is gonna love these yeah. oh and also i wanted to add i personally find the taste very similar to the vivera steaks only the consistency is different because the vivera steaks they have a consistency that's kind of like stringy that really looks a little bit like steaks mm. and they also bleed a little bit because they also have the red beet tint in them or like the red beet pigment and this is very similar from like taste wise it's just the consistency that's different so if you can't lay your hands on beyond meat burger maybe look for the brand vivera in your area and try their vegan steaks because i i feel like they are super similar i have to try them like you know side by side to give my final verdict but from a, i mean we had them not so long ago yeah just a couple days ago and we eat them pretty often so yeah so but if i had to if i had to rate them right now i'd rate the vivera steak above the beyond burger yeah? yeah okay i have to think about it but yeah i'm not i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure but anyway these were our first impressions you have seen we like it we like it and you have seen how they look like if you have any questions feel free to write them down below in the comments i will link down below the web page from the store that sells these in vienna just in case you're in the area and you want to try them and as soon as other stores will sell them as well i will add that to the description box but so far from what we found it's only metro right now that sells them and now we're gonna finish this delicious dinner, so it's a good place to stop and say goodbye. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye. Bye.